And let's take a look at our sale of the tape here tonight for our main event of the evening. It is brought to you by Black Landsman, directed by Spike Lee. All right, as you see, Galarza with the one inch height advantage, but I swear he was taller than that, but who knows? But we have Ladarius Miller with the two inch reach advantage, which is crazy. Usually the taller guy has a longer reach, but not in this case. Ladies and gentlemen, from Sam's Town Live here in Las Vegas, Premier Boxing Champions now features the main event. Live on Bounce, 10 rounds in the lightweight division. It's all brought to you by Mayweather Promotions. Your three judges scoring this contest at ringside are Max DeLuca, Chris Flores, and Patricia Morris Jarman. And our being charge when the bell sounds is Kenny Bayless. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He comes in wearing the black with the silver. His professional record stands at 16 wins. Nine of those coming by way of knockout against three losses. Fighting out of Orlando, Florida by way of Brooklyn, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Dennis the Surgeon Galarza. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing the pink with the silver trim. As professional, his record is near perfect. 16 wins, five of those coming by way of knockout against one defeat. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada by way of Memphis, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ladarius Memphis Miller. He needs to use his jab early and keep his feints because he needs to keep Miller off rhythm. When Miller, when Miller has rhythm, it's a problem. Lateral movement to, to offset his oncoming attack, he comes straight forward in the beginning and he's dictate the pace. As for Miller, he needs to find his distance. Even though he's shorter, he has the longer runs. He needs to get in an early rhythm, like I said before. He has more tools when he's in rhythm. And he needs to keep the pace high in the late mid, in mid rounds. Galarza tends to fade in all his losses. He, he was pooped out. Round one, this one's scheduled for 10. Ray Flores Austin, no doubt, trot here in Las Vegas. As with Darius Miller, who's 25 years of age. This is his seventh fight here at Sam's Town. He is five in one. Suffered his only professional defeat here at Sam's Town Live. But he said he learned quite a bit from that blemish. That was to Rolando Chinea over two Work years out. ago. Says he could never talk about that loss because it's always in the back of his mind. A big difference now is that he's more motivated as a fighter and he clicks very well with his trainer, Rafael Ramos. And it seems before the loss, he, he was just kind of taking it in stride. After the loss, he woke him up and he made sure that he got serious with this, with his dream. Well, he said that a lot of people have made their way from Memphis to come to this fight. His mother, his father, everyone's coming in from Memphis and are enjoying watching their 25-year-old son compete and main event here. For Darius Miller, he said, when we asked him about main eventing for the first time, he said, I don't care if I have to fight in this room with the fighter meetings, I'm gonna have to go and take care of business either way. Right now, both these guys are to say they mean nothing but business. You know, dialing in, Surgeon's got Miller's back to the ropes to see what he can do with that positioning. Miller using his jab. PBC on bounce. Great to be with all of you here on this Friday evening. Dennis Galarza trying to come forward. Uh, I'm step. Let him that up. Missed. Let him up. Step so far, Ladarius Miller's having his way with the jab and has been pretty simple when it comes to his attack. Yeah, he hasn't been able to land that left hand, but he's definitely trying with it. Um, Garza, Galarza needs to start his jab, too. You know, sooner or later, Ladarius is going to get in the rhythm and we're going to see a different fighter. But Darius Miller using his jab. Galarza has not been able to find the range for his jab either, Austin. If he uses it more, he'll find that range. Someone's pawing away at it, both guys are. Nice jab to the body from Galarza. Let's go, 
Darius Miller sends the jab up the middle. Final moments of round one. This one's scheduled for 10. It's a nightmare to score. It's a hit. That is the end of the first between Ladarius Miller and Dennis Galarza. So it's good to have the family support, Austin. Absolutely. You see the father rocking the team money team, the money team merchandise, representing for his son and for his son's promoter. Yeah, that being Floyd Mayweather, who retired 50 and 0. Big straight left that found it. It was partially blocked. Thought it found its mark, but was out of the range of Galarza. It offset that overhand left that was coming from uh, Miller, though. Miller pumping that jab. This is a very important fight for both gentlemen. They know that they need this victory in the left hook that connected by Dennis Galarza, and Miller shakes it off. It was a good counter combination from Galarza. And if you look at the man's toes, they, they've already stepped on each other's toes, as left-handers and right-handers tend to do. Well, for Dennis Galarza, he's coming off a loss at the hands of Edner Cherry back on April 13th. Dennis felt he got the victory, but he feels he was robbed. He said when you take boxing into smaller cities and commissions, you get inexperienced judging, and he felt he was a victim of that. I, I, although everything he's saying is true, you know, the inexperienced judging and everything, it was a close fight, hard call robbery per se. I personally thought he pulled it off, but... You know, still very close rounds. It's a good fight, Amber Cherry. Very, it was an excellent fight, but Galarza did fade. Dennis Galarza, father of a son, Jaden, and that essentially combined the name of his father, Jason, along with his name. So Jaden is what they got out of that. Oh, that's, that's smart. I like that. I'd I never put that together. Quite creative was Dennis Galarza. We know that his son Jaden is watching. They say his son Jaden is already in the gym. He said that when he was two months old, he was in the gym already watching his father's shadow box. So that has to be a great deal of motivation for Dennis Galarza. A couple left hooks there, followed by a sweeping right cross. Nice left hook to the body that, that I don't think people call it. Right to the midsection by Ladarius Miller to Dennis Galarza. And now they kind of crash step 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 into each other. Watch your step, fellas. Watch your step. These, 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 these first two rounds are very difficult to score. Yeah, absolutely. Because it, you really don't know where, who, how to even score that. And, you know, I feel bad for the judges because their score is official. But I feel bad for me, too, because everybody gets to see what I feel. Well, you will be <laughs> judged just like other judges are. Absolutely. You know what? The, with both guys, Ladarius Miller, he spent a great amount of time training with the strength and conditioning coach Curtis Henderson. He said that that has been very different and it has helped him out quite a bit. But Dennis Galarzi has a strength and conditioning coach and also has been into snack nutrition, which is led by Victor Conti. So he's trying to put the right things into his body as Dennis Galarzi and trying to put himself up. It's very powerful young fighter to be able to eat well now. Oh, good shot from Galarza, uppercut, and he got out the way of the left hand of Miller. And that is the end of the second, and here is Jason Galarza. It is a family affair when it comes to the Galarzas. Johnny on the right, Jason there with his son, Dennis. Every round must be the round. And Dennis knows that he's coming into the territory with Darius Miller. Miller has found a home here at Sam's Town Live, so they know that they've got to make a very big impression on the judges. But Darius Miller, who's lived here in Las Vegas for eight years. Ray Flores, Austin Trout, the main event, PBC on bounce. Nice one, too, from Galarza. Galarza trying to keep his distance. I'm surprised he's not pumping that jab more, though. I, I know. I, I would love to see him jab more, you know, uh, just to keep Miller off the of, rhythm or offset. Straight left down the middle there by Darius Miller. Almost doubling up on the jab is Ladarius Miller. Nice stick to the body from Galarza. He has a strong, fast jab you know, when he uses it. Nice. Right hand back backed up with Darius Miller. They want to see more of that jab as Miller comes forward again. 
neither guy is throwing and having a high work rate. So it's so interesting to see maybe one or two punches could separate around Absolutely. in the favor of the other. That's true. They're very. These last two rounds are very close, and this round too is, is close. Um, Almost like carbon copies of one another. You're right. You're right. They're, they're really feeling each other out, not taking too much of a chance quite yet. Well, we're in Vegas, and look, I gambled at the blackjack table yesterday. I wasn't successful, but I hope we see these guys start to gamble a little bit more. And, and hopefully they get some success. Yeah, yeah. obviously. Left hand miss from Miller. We approach 70 seconds here. It's BBC on Bounce. Great to be back here on Bounce. 65 seconds left in the third. Lars is looking to counter something, as you see, he, he's ready for it. And I was going to say, Miller just faints him out of, out of position, which he did. But Lars will be opened up. Still, neither guy is pushing the issue. They're jabbing, and it's, it's a fundamental fight. But we will see who's trying to separate themselves. But Darius Miller thinks having issues with the height and the reach advantage of Dennis Galarza. Well, in the fighters meeting, Miller did say he's a tight fighter, so he's going to try to keep me outside. Why he was speaking, I didn't realize that Miller has the longer arms. So, you know, he, he may not be unrealized that. I understand that his arms are longer. He could work from the, his distance. The end of the third. We'll come back with more. There we see beautiful Las Vegas lit up on this gorgeous Friday evening as we're here at Sam's Town Live. Round number four, this one is scheduled for 10 between Dennis Galarza and Ladarius Miller. Again, Austin, who is going to take the initiative? Well, there's a nice one, too, from Miller. You know, we haven't seen a, a left hand connect for a while. All right, so here's how you have on your official score. Big straight left that connected by Miller. Two rounds to one, Galarza. That third round, though, man, that was just any, mini, mighty mo. Give it to somebody. Watch your elbow. Oh, oh, they very, go. very Watch close fight. Very All close right, round. It is a tactical battle between two young fighters. Dennis Galarza, who's, they're both 25 years of age. Miller, incidentally, just celebrated his 25th birthday about a week ago. Exchange of jabs. Galarza is effective with his jabs when he throws it. And when he throws it with purpose. He needs to throw it because he is the taller fighter. And you know he wants to, but he's just... Ladarius Miller is very crafty and elusive. And in order to make feints effective, you have to establish a jab. And if he doesn't establish a jab, the feints aren't going to work out, work out, work out. Stop, 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 stop back. Keep him in front, baby. Keep him in front. Kenny Bayless trying to get in the way and separate the two is... You're going to have this happen when you have a convention on the softball fighter. Darius Miller. Using, pumping that jab. 65 seconds left here in the fourth. Nice jab from Miller. Nice little left hand that I think glanced on his body. Oh, good. Nice hand. Step back, back, step back. Miller. Miller and Galarza both looking to make a statement. Both of that pockets of success, but neither guy has really had an extended period of success for 30, 45 seconds. No, I mean, 10 seconds here, 15 right. seconds there. Nobody's pulled away yet. No, the, the cream has not risen. But we still got more rounds to go. Six of them. Stop! No more sun and like professional wrestling Macho Man Randy Savage in terms of the cream rising to the top. 
That is the end of the go. fourth. Here's when Galarza caught Miller with the uppercut, but he just shook it off and said, nah. And let's take a look at the best shot of that round and probably the best shot of the night so far. A nice back, left back, hook back, from back, Miller back. that snapped Galarza's head back. Galarza says, give me some more, please. Round number five, this one's scheduled for 10 with Ladarius Miller and Dennis Galarza, Ray Flores, Austin Trump. Great to be here in Las Vegas. Using his jab again is Miller. Hey, good shot. Right, hey, Miller now starting to see that he might have had Galarza hurt. Let him go. I think Miller was just trying to get that, those two good shots back. He ate a nice right hand left hook combination that which is now in contention for the best shot of the night. That is so true. Galarza effective when his hands are moving. Big right hand by Dennis Galarza. Galarza's holding firm on his ground as well. Mm -hmm. Typically he likes to move around more, but he's holding firm and is planting his feet, sending shots down the pipe. And although no one's been hurt, the shots do seem hard and, and seem to affect the, the opponent. They've been stinging shots, no question. But both guys have a good punch resistance. Strong legs. He's going to shape. Danny Bayless gets in the way, separating the two. Nice right his left. Glars is stepping straight in instead of to his left, which is why he's not able to get his right hand off, and Miller is able to get his left off. There he goes. He takes a step to the left and makes just makes all the world a difference in position. Nice right hand on the top. left here in the fifth. Straight Bob, left stop, step back. by Ladarius Miller. Glossin Austin just still, got out of here. I would hate to be a judge. I don't know how you have this because I think it could be all over the place. It, it really can, and it is. I'm telling you, it's, it's a lot of any, any money more, which I hope the official judges aren't doing. Straight left that connected by Ladarius Miller. Good body, bro. Good combination. Stop, stop, stop. Let him up, let him up, let him up. Step back, step back. All right, here we go. Final moments of the fifth. Defense. Round six, this one's scheduled for 10. What do you think about the instructions from Jason Galarza? Uh, Jason sees what I see. He sees that, that Galarza is getting stronger as the fight goes on and he's coming on. And, and he's, he told us the first thing he said was, I need more combinations. Uh, Great instructions from, from the trainer. Didn't give him too much. He didn't give him too fast. He just let him relax and gave him a couple of notes, and then that's a sign of a great trainer. Well, I think the same could be said for Ladarius Miller. Neither guy's been one shot at a time, or maybe no more than two. You want to be able to see more, but again, these guys respect each other so much. But Austin, at what point does respect go out the window? Um, should have gone out the window as soon as the bell rang. Well, it's just because they both were adamant to us in the fighter meetings about separating themselves. We, we, we showed you at the top of the show, if you are just joining us, the three world champions, Mikey Garcia, the IBF, and the WBC champion, Vasily Lomachenko, Ray Beltran. These guys have a long way to go to this, get to that level, but they both stated that they want to be world champions. Well, they got to go, and now what Darius Miller having some, some down, sustained up, success. But they have got, you got to be able to separate yourself in fights like this. Absolutely. I mean, you want to graduate from, from uh, the contender, and you got to 
rise to the top. And you don't do that by eating your way to victory. I mean, if you have the advantage, you have to capitalize on the advantage. Uh, and either one has been able to find the advantage or to build on it. I feel the last round, Galarza, he did. He, he pulled away a little bit, but stop, Miller's stop. jumping right go. back in. Back, it almost back. seems like a stalemate between the two. I mean, if you were judging it and you had the ability, it could be 10, 10 rounds, even 9, 9 rounds for that matter. Absolutely. And they're even rounds. And there, and there really should have been some 10, 10 rounds. I just didn't want to give the draw. Yeah, you don't want to oh, give him more. Oh, it's not straight left. But Ladarius Miller in this round, with the straight lefts, has been separating himself from Dennis Galarza with those straight lefts. The more, the bigger shots. And even if they haven't been landing cleanly, he's still throwing them and, he, and they've been landing somewhat. Galarza's got to build on the momentum he built up last round because he's losing it right now. Miller and Galarza, both 25 years of age, 16 and 1 is Miller, 16 and 3 is Galarza. Nice straight left that bomb its mark. But it was right after a left hook, so you know, still, how do you score? This is a good left hook and it was a good. Stop, stop! Left hook stop, 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 stop. No wrestling. No wrestling, no spinning. Same Final thing. All right, here we go. Round six. This one's scheduled for ten. Time. Yeah, this is Come on, you're doing good. Keep it moving yeah. to the side. You know what? The straight lefts I, I thought were, were working, but he's telling him he wants him to loop his left a little more, staying at that Mike Tyson punch. Yeah. Hopefully, Mike Tyson is proud about those instructions. Yeah, Mike Tyson in the house here in Las Vegas. Great floor is Austin Trump. Thrilled to be with all of you here in the fighting capital of the world. Nice jab. Still Dennis Galarza pacing and sort of trying to chase down Ladarius Miller. Up, 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 bring him up. Big straight left that connected by Miller. That's, that's, the, that's what his coach was asking for. He said, throw it like this. And he threw it. And it was very successful. Galarza had the positioning, he just didn't let the right hand go. Oh, nice straight left by Ladarius Miller. And look, Darius Miller listened to his corner. He asked for that punch and he's thrown it twice and has landed it very clean. That hook that nice. connected by Galarza, so the action is intensifying here. As we... no, 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 let him up, let him up. All right, that's good, good, fellas. Keep it clean, keep Kenny it clean. Kenny is having implicit instruction, talking a lot. He's a little, talking more than us. This kid is a little uh, Midway shy point between the two fighters. Through the seventh. But now they're trash talking with one another. Yeah. Galarza and Miller still, I have to say it's close to an even fight. I think Miller is starting to pull away a little bit, but it is slightly. Yeah, very slightly. I mean, Galarza, one or two adjustments, and I say he starts with the feet, and he's in the shape. Oh, good. Nice right hand right, by no, no, Galarza. No, no. Galarza is still stepping straight in instead of to his left side, and he's going around the pocket, which is why he's been getting caught with that left hand. Right hand to the body by Galarza. No, no. No. Miller's tying up. Still Miller stepping in, throwing that straight left. Galarza got out of the way. And the fact that Galarza keeps going to his right instead of his left, you know, that's the biggest mistake when you find that southpaw. Sort of mind boggling. Oh, there's that. Three more rounds remaining. There 
here is Jason Galarza yep. with his son, Dennis. You got the chain? You got to get in there and mix it up with this guy. All right? You don't want to mix it up with you. Let's go. You don't mix it up with you. Let's go. Jason telling yeah. his son he doesn't want to mix it up with you. Okay. Hey, watch your feet. Hey, watch your feet. Round number eight. This one is scheduled for 10. Bring the stick. Bring the left. Let's see if Galarza can give his father what he's been asking for. Combinations. Well, and mix it up on the inside. I mean, that's what Dennis has got to be able to go and do in order to be effective. Good left hand to the body. You see Miller step into his right on the outside of the front foot, and it's giving him all the position, which is why the left hand is good. Here is your unofficial scorecard, Austin. This is a very tough to score, 67, 66 for Miller. These, these, these scores all over the place. Any one of these rounds could be switched over or a draw. So take this with a grain of salt. It's a close fight. Yeah, no question. Could be all over. I mean, you could see scores in favor of Miller. You could see scores in favor of Galarza. I mean, who knows how the judges are tabulating these scores. With the body by Ladarius Miller. Hey, man, a nice right uppercut from Galarza. Man. Again, still even. It's spurts. Yeah, Galarza's coming on. He's being a little more busy. Letting his hands go, which is what his father asked for him two rounds ago. And it's, it's, it's what he needed. Look at it. He's having success. Midway point around eight. Looks like we have a little bit of swelling on Galarza's left eye. It's definitely red. Miller steps inside oh, stop, the right stop, stop. hook. Him Kenny Bayless is going to separate them. connected by Ladarius Miller. And it was set up by his feet. You watch his feet when Ladarius Miller jabs, he takes the foot, his foot to the outside of the front foot. And his eight, he's don't able to throw it in the head. A little good body shot from Miller. Stop, stop. Straight left and back up, Dennis Galarza. All due to his foot position. A right hand back connected. The jab coming up by Galarza, but Miller is starting to dictate and throw and land the bigger shots. He's letting his hands go and he's getting in the rhythm now. That ends the eighth. This is a very difficult fight to score. Well, who are you telling, man? I mean, man, oh man, these judges are going to earn their money. Oh, Hopefully, uh, flip a coin. <laughs> Hopefully, they get it right. It's almost like going to the roulette table and saying red or black, which one's going to hit. <laughs> exactly. who, you know, you might as okay. well put Galarza and Miller here at on the blackjack, not on the blackjack table, the roulette table. Yeah. Who is going to get the W? But I think Miller is starting to pull away. He, he is. He, he got in a good rhythm last round, the round before, and uh, he's not letting go of the momentum. Galarza's footwork, I think, could be the changing adjustment that he needs. You know, he'll get out the way of that left hand and be able to attack with his right hand of his own. He keeps that right foot on the outside. Keep him in front. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Nice jab to the body. And had he established that jab early, he could start fainting his way to a vicious right hand. I think Larsa needs something big here. He does. He's he, he he starting to lose the last couple rounds. And Miller has been throwing that straight left and 
has been using his footwork. He's a little bit quicker than that of Galarza. I'm not saying that is not in this fight. He's dead very well in this fight, but the momentum-wise, he's losing momentum. What's the subtleties that Miller is doing which are being and paying dividends? When he jabs, he steps to the outside of Galarza's front foot, meaning Miller steps to his right when he jabs, which sets him up for the left hand, which has been an effective tool this fight. Midway point, and then you see the feet of Galarza. Also, Galarza's been pretty flat-footed, but more than we've seen him. He's usually on his toes, he's moving, he's you know, very surgical with his footwork, as well as his hands, but he's been flat-footed this whole fight. Well, I wonder, though, if that's by design. He was on his toes against Cherry, and he didn't get the benefit of the doubt. So I think in this fight, no, 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 no. but no. No knockdown, that was a slip. I think, a tangle up of feet. I think Galarza is trying to land some bigger shots. And that is why he's trying to press the issue. The big right hand by Galarza is trying to tee off on Miller. Yeah, that might have been the big shot he needed to get some momentum. And who knows, that could have swung the momentum of that ninth round in his favor. I mean, he's got Miller going back. Stop, stop! No, 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 no. Let him up, let him up. Final moments of the nice round. Stop, stop! Let him up, let him up. Tenth and fight around, nothing being said at least over the last ten seconds with Jason Galarza to his son. I think he okay, realizes his son knows what he has right. to do. Keep it clean, fellas. Good work. Good work. I um, mean, still though, it's, it's it's a close fight, and they both need this round. Uh, Jason must know that that Dennis knows that, but still, you can still reiterate. Nobody can take this round off. It, it's it's well, way too close. I'm look, sorry. it is a very close fight. Good left hand from Miller. Miller starting off with that straight left. The left hand that bound against Mark. <laughs> Shot there by Ladarius Miller. He, he's on point right now. Stop, stop, let him up. He listened to, to his corner. He said, like, you need this round, stay off the ropes. And that's what he's doing. Dennis Galarza has to push the issue. I think so does Miller. Neither guy should feel comfortable while they're standing in this fight, nope, Austin. No, nope, nobody's comfortable, nobody's safe. And if Galarza, stop, going stop, through stop, what stop. he just went through with a close decision with Cherry, he knows more than anybody that close fights. Here is the unofficial scorecard, Austin. I got an 86 85 for Miller, which means that this round for Galarza would make it a draw. In my I almost think that could be, if Galarza is more aggressive, that that should be part of the course. Right, and, and he, he's becoming more aggressive, but it's not effective aggressive right now. But neither guy has really. Miller started to in the middle round. Stop, 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 but stop, stop, neither stop, guy stop. has definitively separated themselves from an activity standpoint. That's not a knock on either one of them. It's just that styles make fights. Right. Sometimes they mesh, sometimes stop, they stop, do stop. not. Sometimes there's back and forth, but neither guy has been able to show that they are a class above each other. That is true, but again, they are two good fighters. You know, it's no slack to, to eat by and win, but at the same time, you try to make an impression on the, the lightweight um, division, you gotta pull away. And Galarza is still stepping straight into the pocket of Miller and paying for it. Nice combination with Galarza. Caught him with the second hook of that double hook. Galarza coming forward, throws a right hand and connects. Fight of 
30 seconds of this matchup between two men who are trying to graduate to being contenders. But Darius Miller, Dennis Galarza. Miller has won seven in a row, trying to extend it to eight in a row. Galarza having lost to Ender Cherry by disputed decision. Gonna be very interesting to see how this all plays out in the final 10 seconds in this matchup. Again, these 10 seconds are still crucial because this round has not been dominated by either one of the fighters. Time. That's the end of the fight. And Ladarius Miller and Dennis Galarza fight to the distance. We'll come back and get the decision. You're watching PBC on Bounce. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we go to the scorecards. Here are your score totals. Judge at ringside, Patricia Morse Jarman scores the contest 99-91. Max Luca 97-93. And Chris Flores 96-94 for your winner by unanimous decision. Ladarius Memphis Miller. So Ladarius Miller gets the victory. By unanimous decision, and Austin, I thought the scores were way too wide. Way too wide, and again, I had it with 97, 95, but a lot of those rounds could have gone either way, and possibly should have. Thank God I'm not a professional judge. Well, Ladarius Miller, he is extending his win streak. He's won eight in a row. And coming up, we have some bonus action on the way here from Las Vegas.